Welcome back. A program connected to the Cana to Canadian war cemeteries in the Netherlands is looking for help finding the photos of two First Nations soldiers killed during World War II. Faces to Graves is a digital project that puts photos to the names of soldiers killed overseas, and they're looking for information on Benjamin Roy Asquith and Charles Thomas Nanabush. Peter Valkenberg is one of the program's researchers, and he joins us from North Tryon, Prince Edward Island. Welcome to Nation Nation. Thank you for having me. All right, so first off, maybe you can tell our viewers a little bit about the Faces to Graves project. Yes, um, quite a few years ago, uh, one of the Canadian war cemeteries, Canadian war cemeteries in Holton, started the project and they called it um, a, a face to every name. And that's what it was the initial project. Then it was taken over by the other two Canadian war cemeteries and also the municipal cemeteries in the Netherlands are involved in this project. They are now trying to build a virtual monument and for that they need photographs, they need uh, input of families with regards to non-military information so that they can write a biography of the soldier and put that online. The project uh, has been going on now for about, I would say, seven years, seven, eight years. And they've, they've gathered quite a few names, but on the other end, there's still a lot of soldiers that don't have photographs. And me being from Dutch origin, uh, I'm now trying and living in Canada on Prince Edward Island, I'm trying to help them with this. Okay, and uh, how many soldiers would you say are in your database? In the total database uh, of ourselves, or in, in total in in in, uh, in in the Netherlands? Oh, I just say in, in your particular project. In my particular project, at the moment we have found over two hundred and twenty soldiers that are buried in the three Canadian war cemeteries, and a total of close to three hundred if you include the other cemeteries. Okay, and now we'll move to a little bit, to talk a little bit about the, uh, the two people that you're looking for. Wh what do we know about uh, Benjamin Asqui and uh, Charles Nanabush? Uh, Benjamin Asqui was uh, born on the 16th of April, 1940, 1922, in Cape Croker, the Cape Croker Reserve in Ontario. I know from the service file that his parents were Bert and Ida Askewi. He had uh, two brothers, Nelson and Percy, and Nelson also served in World War II, but Nelson came back. And apart from the two brothers, he had three sisters, Hilda, Bessie, and Ella. He enlisted in London, Ontario on the 6th of June, 1941, and he went overseas the same year in October. Uh, in September 44, he went to France and uh, he was killed in action on the 29th of November 1944 in the Netherlands. His, um, on his gravestone, it says, Dear Benjamin, what it meant to lose you, none will ever know. These are um, inscriptions uh, the Commonwealth War Graves Commission invited the parents to, to put an inscription on the soldier's stone. In this case, I think it was the father who put this inscription on the stone because the mother had passed away in 1939. So we just talked about Mr. Asqui. Um, can you tell me a little bit about uh, Charles Nanabush and what we, we know about him? Yes, of course. Uh, Charles uh, Nanabush was, uh, was born in, if I pronounce it right, uh, Shavanaka Reserve. 
and he was born on the 5th of May, 1919. His parents were Charles and Pauline Nanibus, and he had three brothers, Simon, Michael, and Leonard, and one sister, Marie. Um, he, were, he signed up in 1941 in Petawawa, and he served first in Newfoundland in 1942, and then he went overseas in 1943. He left the UK in 1944 in July, and he landed in France two days later. He lost his life in 1945 on the 8th of March, and he was initially buried in Germany. Later, he was reburied in the Canadian War Cemetery in uh, Hoosbeek. Ash. Yeah, and so so it's the same with Mr. S. S. K. W. They are both burned, uh, buried in the same Canadian War Cemetery. Oh, okay. and yeah, on his uh, stone, I like to read the text of his gravestone. It says, "We think of him; his name we oft recall. Nothing is left to answer. He gave his all." I found that very, uh, a very nice text and very, uh, I was emotional when I uh, read it the first time. We're, we'll have to uh, end it there, but thanks very much for joining us today, uh, Mr. Valkenberg. Okay, thank you for having me. And uh, hopefully uh, we will get the two photographs of the soldiers that we are looking for so that we can honor them also on the, they will be honored on the virtual memorial eventually but it would be nice to put a picture there as well if you or anyone you know has information that could help the faces to graves project locate photos of benjamin roy asqui or charles thomas nanabush you can contact peter valkenberg at this email address memorialtrail at gmail.com once again that's memorialtrail all one word and in lowercase at gmail.com and to end tonight's show, here's some sights and sounds from yesterday's Indigenous Veterans Day ceremony in Ottawa. I'm Fraser Needham. Good night. <laughs>